Hello viewers, we'll be going over WTI crude oil. In this video, we'll be going over the day-by-day -day probability model, the percent comparison, and how we find the models, and the day-by-day -day forecast for WTI crude oil. So back to the technical analysis. Today we're up 1.8% on the one-hour chart. If we zoom in closer, we are starting to see a slight convergence in play, and we may see higher highs as well. On the four hour chart, we are also approaching pause of MACD as well. And on the daily chart, we are starting to see a possible convergence in play right here on the daily MACD. And we are still oversold on the daily RSI. So we may see an attempt to reach where we saw support back in around early March, around the price of. $30. There's a possible reversal in play, but I do see it's a minor reversal. So I do see that as our next resistance around the price of $29.90. And that is in between the 18 day moving average, this purple line, and in the nine day moving average, this blue line. So we may see sideways price action once we reach that resistance. So let's head to the day-by-day -day probability model as the days progress to the seventh day. As we see here, um, we have a 0% chance for WTI crude oil to climb higher between 0 and 10%, none on these extreme cases. On to the downside, we have a 50% chance for WTI crude oil to fall between 0 and negative 10%. And on the extreme case, we see a 40% chance for WTI crude oil to fall between negative 10% and negative 20%. And on the extreme case, 10% for WTI crude oil to fall between negative 20% and negative 31%. So again, this model is now available in the link below, so do check it out. So if we examine day by day, where WTI crude oil will head to the next coming days. So we have one day out, two days out, three days out, four days out, five days out, six days out, and seven days out. So which one of these models we should focus on? Ideally, the model that is the best match to the current trend. Right here, we have the current trend, and below is the trend that I believe is the best match. This trend dates back to August 6, 2008 to October 30th, 2008. So let me point out why these two charts are similar. So what we have here on the current trend, we, we start off at the upper Bollinger Band and then we proceeded to dip lower. So let's just mark all the instances where we touch the bottom Bollinger Band. So we have our second one there, our last one towards the very end. And between those bottom Bollinger Bands, we see a reversion to the mean touching the middle Bollinger Band. So we see those points there on the current trend. And on the trend in question, we start off at the upper Bollinger Band as well. And then next we mark the instances where we touch the bottom Bollinger Band. So we have our first one there and our last one near the very end. And then in between those two, we see it revert back to the mean at the middle Bollinger Band. So what we have is one, two, three, four points. We also have one, two, three, four points. So there's reason to believe that the trends and patterns are the same. The outcome and forecast should be fairly the same. So the model that we just examined was August 6, 2008 to October 30th, 2008. Back then, WTI crude oil fell around 6.3%. So if we look back at the day-by-day -day probability model, it coincides with this standard deviation of 50% chance for WTI crude oil to fall, to fall between 0 and negative 10%. And if we examine closely at the technical performance, on uh, the current trend, we have a 160% drop from monthly high, 7% higher from monthly low, 8% from 10 simple moving average, 29% lower from 20 simple moving average and 47% lower from 50 simple moving average. And if we examine the trend that we just looked at, 
we are down 80% from monthly high and we are down we are up 5% from monthly low 3% down from 10 simple moving average 13% down from 20 simple moving average and 29% down from 50 simple moving average and we have those things to consider it's slightly different from where we are currently are now in than when we are back in 2008 so do take that into consideration and again this model is now available in the link below so do check it out if you enjoy this content feel free to like comment subscribe and thank you for watching